Hello everybody, this is From Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodemo, this is Christopher Draves, yep. and this is Matt Weiss. You got it right again. Good job. Yay, he pats himself on the back. Don't like break your arm. Good, man. I already hurt this elbow. Well, don't, well, do don't, do that. That. don't hurt the other one. All right, uh, so um, our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can get all your hockey apparel, figure skating apparel, referee apparel. You can get goalie apparel. You can get your fandom apparel. You can also visit them at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com or you can visit their store located at 2002 West Howard Avenue or you can call them if you have any questions at 414-800-7585. Oh yeah, they're located in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Yep. That's the only part you didn't add. Exclusively right next to Milwaukee's Wilson Park, Milwaukee County's. It's Wilson across Park. the street from Wilson Park, I said. Which for the for the for people like that like the more you know segments, the Admirals actually started at Wilson Park. Yeah, their uh, training camp used to be there. I remember that when I was a kid. Never attended any of their training camp practices until they switched over to MSOE. Yeah. All right. So today the Milwaukee Admirals played the Texas Stars. It was a it was a alright game, not a lot of penalties. A lot of really There was a lot of missed shots on the Admirals. They yeah. should have had well, way more goals. Same with the Stars though too. The Stars were having a lot of missed shots on net, a lot of them shooting wide. But a, a very slow but like it's one of those slow yet fast moving games where yeah. like you're finding yourself to the end of the period very quickly, but you're just like, Whoa, that took a while. It, it was <laughs> it was slow and somewhat methodical. Yeah. Now, as most of you, because I already put the post up, so they are aware, um, I was a I missed uh, from the first period on. I yeah. left during inter, uh, the first intermission. Um, my kid kind of had an accident. An accident. Yeah, well, you know the story about monkeys jumping on beds? Well, this one climbed on a futon and bonked his head on a ceiling fan. Ooh. Yeah. Well, it wasn't a futon. It was, it was the a top bunk of a bunk fan. Yeah. Well, same. <laughs> well, what do you mean it's the same? It's different. Well, uh, technically, it, make them closer well, technically to the it was one of them futon, futon bunk beds. Oh, uh, one of those things. Whatever. Yeah, he was anyway. on the top bunk and bonked his head off of a ceiling fan. He only needed, what, two stitches? Yep, but he's all good. Okay. By the way, for those of you that wa have been watching us along, time this is now part two <laughs> yeah last well, year he did the same thing wow just the minus the continues. bunk bed um, I, want, to, want to hear the funny part about that what that day was february 17th wow we're only so, like four days away so february is fan month <laughs> february <laughs> equals family hospital <laughs> and you're a family yeah, apparently so okay, well okay. anyways the kid's okay uh, yep, it was a total good. accident yeah, everybody in, in his section saw me just bolt out of there. Yeah, his cousin called him, and that's how he found out, because he was at the game with me and his wife. And yep, so we all... Yeah. Long, uh, yeah. long story short, everything's good. Everything uh, figured Everything's all good and aren't. Even better with an Admiral's win? Yes, um, Ooh, the only reason I... not to deliver that right away. Oh, come on. I'm uh, trying to get the watch. Well, we don't have the score given away yet. Yeah, and I'm trying to do the hook and drag. Try to get people to watch long. But, uh, in the good side of things, uh, I was able to listen to the game. Yeah. So, I do See, still know what happened. See, you were trying to yell at me earlier for me saying I didn't feel like going to the game and I just wanted to listen to on the radio. Yeah. Alright, so shots were pretty even. Power play was even. Yeah, there was only four penalties throughout the whole game. Which, so. nice. That's good on yeah. me. Um, so, scoring, not much of that either. But let's get into it. Uh, we have Gavin Bayreuther with his fifth with an assist from Rhett Gardner and Reese Scarlett. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, Bayreuther's fifth, Rhett Gardner's 13th assist, and Scarlett's 10th assist. Um, and then in the second period, Alexander Carrier clanged one off the pulp. Po po post. Oh, yes, he did, too. That was off the post. Um, that getting his fifth. Was it yeah, it was off the post, but the goalie, I believe, also bumped the net off of the pegs as well. Yeah, something like that. But it, I well, guess from it, your guys, it, it pretty much crossed the plane from the looks of it. Like, it pretty much crossed the cleats plane, so it was fine. But anyway, what was it? We have Tanner Janot with uh, an assist at, with his 11th, and Matthew Olivier with an assist at his 9th. All right, so funny story with this goal. Um, when he scored it, we were actually jumping up and down in the hospital room, and uh, all uh, one of the nurses came in and go, are you guys okay? <laughs> uh, Cole Snyder scored his 14th with an assist from Tommy Novak, his 24th, 
and Daniel Carr his 23rd. Three stars of the game are Matthew Olivier with an assist, uh, Troy Grosnick with 31 saves on 32 shots, and Alexander Carrier with a goal. Uh, in net for uh, the uh, Texas Stars or Cedar Park Stars is Jake Ottinger, former um, uh, Ohio Buckeye. Oh, oh, oh uh, yeah. Robert is wondering: Is he German? No. no. He's an American. Okay. Yes. I don't know if his family integrated from Germany. I'm, I'm okay. not. Okay. Anyway, so anyway, uh, he on. stopped twenty-nine at thirty-one. Attendance at the UW Panther Arena was 2,197. It was a low crowd. I was bummed out by that small crowd. But then again, we had... The crowd was so tiny. We we had had weather, though. It was snow. We had yeah. snow and a cold snap coming. What it's do you Wisconsin. Want? What do you want? Palm trees and 80 degree weather in February during hockey We can dream. It's Wisconsin. Well, you drive over. Learn how to get used to it or get out of Wisconsin. That's my... Exactly. The people that complain about the weather in Wisconsin and not wanting to drive in Wisconsin, here's an idea. Leave the state. All right. They would if they could drive out. <laughs> without getting charged. Out first. Without getting charged for driving out. Yeah, DUIs are issue too. But anyways, keep anyway, going. Let's get to the anyway referees were Jared Regson and Sean Fernandez. Uh, linesmen were William Hancock and James, Jameson Grenier. Uh, the Admirals are now one or three one and or four one and oh four one oh and one against the Stars this year. Uh, yeah. So we actually have a winning record against them this yep. year. We have a winning record of almost anybody, but that's beside the point. Because last year, remember how uh, Texas owned us. Yep. But then again, a lot of people owned this last year, except for like that last month of the season. Yeah, the last, was it, month and a quarter? Month and a half? Yeah. That's when we went on that tear? Where, was it, was it, uh, Yakov Trenin just coming out and just taking, was it That was a coming out party. He dominated. Alright, what are we doing first? Uh, preview for the Admirals next game, or preview for the Predators next game? Admirals working on it. We can do a brief summary of the three, like, because we got a, it's a three-game road series, from if I remember correctly. Yep, but we'll do the, to, yeah. the next one tomorrow. Alright, yeah. next up for the Admirals is against the Chicago Wolves at mm-hmm. the Rosemont Horizon there in Rosemont, Illinois. <laughs> yeah. I call it the old school name, not that corporate sponsor. You know, uh, the model. Uh, the um, the rundown. Uh, hey, uh, hey, 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 hey. Uh, Let's just talk about the okay. it's, an uh, air, it's an air hanger. All I, I was re- I was referring to a rundown giant White Castle. Well, but I was all State to Arena. Calling it the All State Arena by going old school and calling it what it is, the Rosemont Horizon. Unless this oh. is a completely different building than the Horizon. I'm not sure of the details. Anyway, anyway, let's so. get into this. Uh, in the last meeting between the Admirals and Wolves on January 31st, the Admirals won three to or seven to three. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. I, weren't we at that game? No. no. Oh, that was, you said on the road. Okay. Yep. Um, their top five scorers are Lucas Alvinus. He has 11 goals, 28 assists for 39 Huge points. Famous, kid. Then we have career AHLer Curtis McKenzie. With 13 goals, 19 assists for 32 points. Gage Quinney, 13 goals, 17 assists. Quinn for, was actually not a bad player. For 30 points. Uh, Brendan Peary, 11 goals, 17 Jeez. assists with 28 points. And Ty McGinn with 14 goals, 7 assists for 21 points. Peary is a career HLer. Curtis McKenzie is a career HLer. Ty McGinn is a career HLer. This is yet again back to the wolves wanting guys who can win the cup. See our editorial for that. Yeah. Our past editorial. Uh, no, don't watch it because it cuts off. Yeah, but it covers most of it. Yeah, it cuts off our closing. Again, we pretty much covered it. Just it cuts us off. Cuts us off whacking ourselves in the head with a sign. Yeah, I'm okay. By the way, everybody, if anybody saw that, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, we keep having issues uploading. Yep. All right. So. Um, in net for the Wolves is... Del- oh, yeah. no, I'm wrong. I don't know. 
But yeah, if you want to see our gripes on the sh on anything with the, our editorials, just check our. Just editorials. watch our videos on YouTube. You know what to do. All right. Um, we have Oscar Dance twenty seven games played, three shutouts, seventeen wins, seven losses, two overtime losses, with a two point three six goals against average and a point nine one five save percentage. And in the shootout, he has a point six six seven save percentage. Who do you want to bet is going to be in net? Then we have Garrett Sparks, who will probably not be in net because <laughs> he is probably still sunburnt from the last time we saw him. Sunburned. I, mean, I wouldn't even say that. He's he just got burned. He got burned by the red light district. Um, Rosemont district. What's up with the innuendos today, buddy? I like them. Uh, what's up with them? He has 22 games played, uh, two shutouts with a 2.86 goals against average, five wins, 14 losses, and three overtime losses. Ouch! Um, that win loss record though, a little bit sketchy mm -hmm. compared to the goals against average. Yeah. And a point nine zero two save percentage. In the shootout, he has an eight point five seven save percentage. Overall, in the shootout, they have an eight point zero zero save percentage. And empty net wise, they have given up ten goals. <laughs> Wait, better goals? Yeah, they've both given up sixty one goals against. <sighs> All I right, gotta, I gotta say something off camera to you guys. You, right. just, uh, you just uh, made something pop into my head. Oh dear. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna let Chris read this. This is the. Oh, you not? I can't read that. I can. We're currently uh, operating with only one computer because of the whole issue of his child today. I didn't have time to get my equipment. Dude, you might as well, dude, because I can't. I gotta right. go. This is crap. Look there you go. Stupid. All right, we're going to be covering uh, the New York Islanders. The Predators played in tomorrow night. Uh, their first line, we have left winger Anders Lee. On the season, he has 17 goals, 16 assists. Then we have uh, center Matthew Barzel. Uh, he has, what is it, 18 goals, 30 assists. Then we have Jordan Eberle, or Jordan Eberle, uh, 10 goals, 20 assists. Their second line consists of a uh, left winger Anthony Bellevue. From uh, Bellevue. Uh, he has 17 goals, 19 assists. Then we got uh, Brock Nelson, their center, uh, 21 goals, 24 assists. And then we have Josh Bailey, their right winger, 12 uh, 12 goals, 25 assists. I personally watch out for their front two lines. The only person you should worry about in their third line would be Derek. Uh, Broussard, Broussard, he has 10 goals, 19 assists. And then, surprisingly, their fourth, what's up with them having good centers? Because uh, Casey, Oh, he is out. Oh, never mind, because he had 10 goals, 4 assists. Uh, Casey Zizikas. Yeah, he Zizikas? is the one with the laceration from... Uh, oh. All right, yes. anyways, on defense, uh, their front, their uh, first defensive pairing, Ryan Pulak... Uh, seven goals, 22 assists, and then Devin Caves. Uh, other than that, on defense, I don't really have yeah. anything really... Uh, Taves has five goals, 17 assists. Uh, I guess Scott Mayfield, five goals, eight assists. And then Nick Letty, he has 17 assists and three goals. I'm not too scared of their defense, but um, also, on that, also on that third, also on that third line, you have Johnny Boychuk, uh, nine assists, two goals. Boychuk, Boychuk, why does that name sound familiar? Black Hawks. Mm -hmm. oh. All right, so the no, goal. This is Zach Boychuk that follows people on Twitter. Oh yeah, he he's a former NHL. Huh? He's former a, hockey oh, player. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, then we have their goaltenders who are Simeon Varlamov. Uh, 34 games played, 17 wins, 9 losses, 4 overtime losses with a .915 save percentage and a 2.59 goals yeah, against average. Yeah, I'm not mistaken, this game's uh, 6 o'clock Central Standard Time? 7, they're in Nashville. Seven. Yep. Uh, 7 o'clock Central Time, and yeah, then the Admirals seven. game tomorrow. It's also at 7. Yep. Okay, so yeah, it's going to be double. Um, And he has two shootouts, or shutouts, shootouts. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what if it was a shootout? And yeah, never mind. It wouldn't even make any sense. All right, and then we have Thomas Grice. Uh, he has 27 games played, uh, 25 starts, 
16 wins, 7 losses, 2 overtime losses with a 2 point a point nine two zero same percentage and a two point five five goals against average. They're pretty even. Yeah. Steady but even. Uh, oh, no where, shut up. Where do the Islanders sit in the standings currently? Which is why I'm happy you had this particular window pulled up, making sure it's capable for us to reach into the grab bag and grab whatever we need. I believe they're third in their division, but don't yeah, quote me on Metro Division along with the uh, Capitals, Penguins, Bruins. Yeah. And, yeah, whoa. Islanders, yeah, you're third. Right third in their division with a 33-16-6 uh, and six record, and they're, la they're riding a two-game win streak in the last ten. They are 5-3-2. Yeah, Columbus yeah. creeping out of them. And yeah, I watched their last five games, and they're actually not that bad of a team. So, uh, actually, but I'm still not worried about them. Cause, or is that just me drinking the blue and gold Kool-Aid in Nashville? I'm, yeah. I want to have faith in the Predators, but I yeah. did watch the Islanders, and they're not a bad team. Like, well, Nashville, really is, one, Nashville is one point out of last place. Yeah. Huh. Right now, it's just... Not looking like the wild card at this current point of the yeah, game. but we still have a lot of games. That's yeah. what I'm saying. I'm trying to have faith, guys. Yeah. Trying to have faith. But when you see a game like the Vancouver one, where there's no excuse for that first period at all, yeah, exactly. It doesn't look good currently. I mean, they're fifth in 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 the playoff running, so that's not the that's, worst part. Yeah. That's the best part. That's thing. yeah. But the bad part is you got to get past Arizona and Calgary, and they are playing you, really you know, good right now. Minnesota's been on fire right now. That's, that's, the, that's the problem. That's also fire. the problem because I see Minnesota at least getting better than Winnipeg to yeah. where the next problem is if Winnipeg starts sinking, Nashville needs to take advantage of that. And the only problem they have to worry about then is Arizona and Calgary, and they're not bad teams. Yeah, if I'm not no. mistaken, in Minnesota's last 10, ain't they like 7-3? Yeah. Mm-hmm. 